the humorous origins and insertions. Kinesiologychris.com Yay! Hello and thank you for choosing to watch Kinesiology Chris. I'm Chris and today we're going to be talking about the origins and insertions of the humorous. I recommend that you watch the humorous anatomy video before watching this video. So let's begin. First I'm going to go ahead and clear all this color off of here. And then we're going to start from the top and work our way down. We're going to start with the insertions and then do the origins. Alright, so as you probably noticed, we got an anterior view on the left and a posterior view on the right. Alright, so let's see what muscles up first. Ah, great tubercles. This is just super. We got the supraspinatus and it inserts on the greater tubercle. The superior faucet to be exact. What is the superior faucet? I don't know, but it's right there. And if there's a superior one, there's probably an inferior one. So let's keep this humorous party going, and I'm going to jump over the bicipital groove to the lesser tubercle, where we will find that the subscapularis muscle inserts right here. You don't have to be a math major to know if you subtract something, you get less. That's a good memorization technique for you. Anyways, this party's lame. Too many math nerds for me. Let's move on. So we'll jump back over the bicipital groove and land on the greater tubercle again. This time we're on the middle faucet and the infraspinatus muscle attaches here. And if we go south just a little bit, we'll see that the teres minor muscle also attaches on the greater tubercle, but this time on the inferior faucet. I told you there'd be one. I'm a smart guy. What the hell's a faucet anyway? Only faucet that I'd get excited about is one that pours beer. All right, I need you to sit down for a minute because this is important. The four muscles that we just went over make up the rotator cuff. What's the rotator cuff? It's the muscles that help stabilize the head of the humerus against the glenoid fossa of the scapula. Without these four muscles, if you went to flap your arms like Tweety Bird, the head of the humerus would slide straight up. If you need to remember these four muscles, try sits. Like I told you earlier, sits down. All right. The S is for supraspinatus, the I is for infraspinatus, the T is for teres minor, and then over on the lesser tubercle we got the subscapularis. If you remember sits, you'll remember the rotator cuff muscles. So moving along, we got one of the ladies' favorite muscles, the pec major. That's that nice chest muscle the ladies love to see. It inserts on the lateral lip of the bicipital groove. And then if we go in the middle of the bicipital groove, all the bodybuilders like to work on those lats. The latissimus dorsi inserts right here. And then if we go to the medial lip of the bicipital groove, the teres major inserts right here. So let's go down to the middle of the bone. And on the deltoid tuberosity, I have a bit of a surprise for you. Guess what muscle inserts here? Alright, well I've never been very good at surprises anyways. But yeah, the uh, deltoid muscle inserts on the deltoid tuberosity. Who would have known, huh? Alright, now we got the coracle brachialis, which inserts on the middle one-third of the medial surface of the humeral shaft. And as exciting as that was, let's go ahead and move on, and we'll talk about the origins. Yay! Glad to see that somebody's excited. Alright, so starting on the medial epicondyle of the humerus, we got the common flexor tendon originating here. Now if we go to the other side of the street, on the lateral epicondyle, we got the common extensor tendon originating here. And because I like walking so much, we're going back to the medial epicondyle, where we'll find the pronator teres muscle originating here. And like a stumbling drunk that can't figure out where he wants to go at night, we're going back to the lateral epicondyle, where the anconius muscle originates here. And I'm sorry I'm using a lot of beer references. I'm not really a big drinker, but I think tonight I'm a little thirsty. All right, so if we keep our focus on the lateral epicondyle, and moving up to the lateral supracondylar ridge, the extensor carpi radialis originates from both these areas, the lateral epicondyle and also the lateral supracondylar ridge. Also originating on the lateral supracondylar ridge is the brachial radialis. It's just a little further up. Okay, so moving on, if we go to the lower half of the anterior shaft, we have the strongest elbow flexor in the human body. Anybody want to guess? That's right, or wrong, depending on who said what. 
The brachialis muscle originates on the lower half of the anterior shaft of the humerus. Now we're going to look over at the posterior view and we'll see that the medial head of the triceps brachii originates just below the spiral groove. And if we go above the spiral groove, we'll find the triceps brachii lateral head is located there. This concludes our exciting journey through the humerus origins and insertions. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, happy studying, my friends.